flesh is at war with the spirit. And demons are not flesh. Demons are spiritual beings who have desires, appetites, who love to inhabit a body. And when you become a Christian, their legal right needs to be revoked and they need to be cast out. Jesus only had one solution for demonization, and that is expelling them. It wasn't a sinner's prayer or even a water baptism or joining a church. It was expelling those demons. So demons need to be cast out. And majority of deliverances that you see from any deliverance minister, biblical Christian deliverance minister, they will tell you they do majority of deliverances on Christians. All right, welcome back to my YouTube channel again. This is my fifth video that I will be making on Greg Lock movie. Now, if you have never watched other videos, and maybe you have to pause and go back and watch those videos, I'm going to leave those link uh, below in the comment section because you may have to, you know, say some things that I've already, you know, maybe you want to ask a question that I've already answered, especially the last video I uploaded that, you know, dispelling or debunking some of their claims for deliverance ministries. So today I want to talk about the deliverance ministers, they are diminishing the power of the gospel. Because when you say a believer can be delivered or a believer can be possessed by demons, you are saying that the power in the gospel is not sufficient to deliver a person. In the book of Romans chapter 1 verse 16, the Bible reads, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jews first and also to the Greek. So the power of God is the gospel. The gospel is the power of God unto salvation. So when a person receives the free gift of eternal life, that person is saved. Not only is he saved, that person is sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise and also that person is secure. Now one thing I wanted to notice about all these deliverance ministers, they believe that a believer can lose salvation. They do not believe the freeness of the gospel. They do not believe eternal salvation of believers. And so that is why they believe that a believer you know, can be possessed by demons. So they need to cast out demons out of believers. And I've issued out a challenge to them. If they can show me one time in the scripture when Jesus Christ our Lord cast out demons out of believers even one time in the book of Luke chapter 22 verse 31 and 32 where Jesus Christ was speaking to uh, Simon Peter says Simon Simon Satan has desire you that he may shift you as a weight but I have prayed for you it is not saying that let me cast out the demons out of you say I have prayed for you that thy faith fail not so we can understand that we are not diminishing that i mean satan is out there to get believers because you need to worry you need to be worried if satan is not trying to get you but demons cannot possess believers because our body is the temple of god the bible is very clear several times in the scripture our body is a temple of god the bible says we have been partaker of the divine nature are you saying that devil can cohabit the same place where God's spirit is? Hey, that is why God tells us several times that we need to resist because the power has been given to us to resist the devil, the Bible says, and he will flee from us. So for them to say a believer can be possessed is to diminish the power in the gospel to save, to seal, and to secure a believer. It may you know, temporarily may relieve them of their pain and psychologically they will think that they are delivered. And just, just look at those people again. Listen, I have tons of testimonies from people who have been in these sham deliverance ministries. And they will tell you that, hey, this thing is just a, a show, I mean, a show in the flesh. I said in my video, previous video that, you see, deliverance 
it's just a I mean if you say a someone needs deliverance it's just a cheaper way you know to to temporarily give them what they want at that particular time and the thing is continue to come back so I'm saying this to let you know that if a Christian wants to fight in the spiritual warfare the secret the weapon what we need has been given to believers and deliverance is not one of them in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 deliverance is not one of them casting out demons out of believers is not one of them so I'm saying that believers they need to be equipped in a proper way we should not just be saying that believers can be possessed and they need to be cast out all of these people Greg Locke, Shafchok, Isaiah Sadiver, uh, Pagani, Adams and many of them this is what they believe they believe that a child of God a person that is indwelled by the Spirit of God can be possessed by demons this is far from it and let me say this there are so many things that people will use to justify but the truth of the matter is show me a scripture where Jesus Christ cast out demons out of believers show me a scripture where the early Christians I mean the, the apostles cast out demons out of believers show me a scripture where the uh, apostles Paul cast out demons out of believers hey you know what Simon Peter could have casted out demons out of Ananias and Sapphira say hey that demons out of you come out but no we call the deliverance ministries today for believers is not biblical and they need to be exposed that's why I'm making videos on this so that godly people, godly people out there will not be enslaved by this cheap way of dealing with the spiritual warfare the Bible tells us that the weapon, I mean, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. We need discipline. We need accountability. We need the word of God. We need purity. We need the whole hammer of God in order for us to fight. And the Bible tells us in the book of James, submit yourselves therefore to God. Submission yourself therefore to God. Say, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Say, submission to God. Submission to the will of God. Submission to the providence guidance of God, and also resisting the devil when you submit yourself to god and you believe that everything you want is in god you'll be able to stand tall and resist and stand against okay the wise of the devil and stand against the tricks of the devil because the bible very clearly tells us that we are not ignorant of his devices he has so many devices that he's using and you should never be ignorant of them of demons or devil's devices a believer cannot be possessed by the demons thank you for watching and god bless you